As the Tin Caps prepare for a normal regular season game, 140 years of baseball history sits within an earshot of Parkview Field. Don Graham of the Northeast Indiana Baseball Association knows all about that history. Decided on a coin toss on May 4, 1871, the first professional baseball game was played right here in Fort Wayne. I think there's a lot of people that don't know. There isn't another city, I don't think, in this country the size of Fort Wayne is, the size of Fort Wayne was back then, that's, that can make claim to something this big. Fort Wayne, along with eight other teams, started the National Association of Professional Baseball Players. You're going to believe this one. Ten bucks is what it cost to get this started. So it's back to the left off of Camp Allen Drive because Camp Allen went right along the river, right back in here, and that's where the ballpark here it is only six years after the Civil War. Don't need the camp anymore. Seemed like an ideal spot to build a park. Here off of Camp Allen Drive is where the stadium sat 140 years ago to the day when Bobby Matthews pitched a gem as the Fort Wayne Kikiangas defeated the Cleveland Forest Cities 2-zip in the first Major League Baseball game ever played. A bunch of city officials took up a, a collection from just John Q out here. Uh, and, and quite a collection and built a ballpark. Just two months into the season, the Fort Wayne team would fold and the franchise was bought by a couple of East Coast businessmen who eventually turned the club into the Brooklyn Dodgers. We're responsible for Brooklyn being what they became and now Los Angeles. Probably not, but you know. Reporting in Fort Wayne, Ross Kinsey, News Channel 15 Sports. I've got all that on a piece of paper. Yeah. I wrote short articles on it.